Now with corruption cases on the rise in Kenya, young people are stepping up with innovative solutions to tackle the vice. Two students from Nova Pioneer Boys High School have emerged as winners at the 8th Youth Scientist Kenya National Science and Technology Exhibition after developing AfroChain a blockchain-powered platform that enables real-time tracking of public funds from collection to expenditure. ICT and Digital Economy Principal Secretary John Tanui hailed the innovation, reaffirming the government's support for young innovators. Since its inception in 2018, Youth Scientist Kenya has reached over 250,000 learners and supported 1,700 STEM projects nationwide. This year's exhibition brought together over 1,000 students, showcasing 130 innovative projects. Among them was Afrochin, developed by Kwon Luwal Ajok and Ian Mwadilo from Nova Pioneer Boys High School, Eldoret. The innovation is aimed at tackling corruption through blockchain technology. The innovation is the overall winner of this year's edition of the Youth Scientist Kenya National Science and Technology Exhibition and will be showcased at the Youth Scientist and Technology Exhibition in Dublin in 2026. I think one thing that the youth are really crying for is proper management of resources. Okay. So if the government is able to show the youth that we are really handling these resources well, especially when it comes to public finance, I think the youth, will, the youth and the government will be one. one. The kind of support we would need is probably that we need more professionals in this particular project so that we can be able to make something that is very powerful. Yes, and if the government will be able to support us in such and financially as well, then we will achieve our goals in a very short period of time. ICT and Digital Economy Principal Secretary John Tanoe applauded the creativity, noting government support to drive such innovations to full implementation. Our Ministry of Education, um, through uh, State Department for Basic Education, has embarked on building infrastructure across the country. Uh, we have science labs that are being built uh, in schools across the country to ensure that within the basic education, our children can access the right infrastructure that can enable them to uh, be able to access the labs that are required for science programs. Youth Scientist Kenya has signed a licensing agreement with a 61-year-old Irish-based exhibition, Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition, opening doors for global collaboration. To say it has become a huge success and we're now confident that um, the same successes we had in Ireland with our Young Scientist program, which helped transform our society, can similarly be witnessed in Kenya. And I'm very confident, having seen how it's grown over the last eight years, that uh, it's going to be even more successful. In the, the Young Scientist Kenya Exhibition serves as a vital platform for nurturing scientific thinking, encouraging research and showcasing useless solutions to some of Kenya's most pressing challenges. <laughs> Sylvie Gatti, reporting for Lunchtime News.